My goal by the end of this video is to end the debate that there's a better HBCU basketball rivalry than this right here, bro. Like, all the fans come out, all the students come out, all the alumni come out. This is the game that everybody comes back to and you're going to tell your grandkids whenever you was younger. I mean, like, not even just the fans was turned, but the game was turned. It was great basketball, two great teams battling it out, and New Trent Gymnasium. You got Livingstone College taking on Wisconsin State. Game Day Nation, let's ride. We gonna start off the game by Jay Gibb getting a good little layup to start off the game. And my boy Paul Taco, hey, he was on one tonight. He had a couple of them trays. He was letting it fly beyond deep and the crowd was turned early, man. So my dog Isaac Parson comes back, dimes it off to Jay Gibb one more time, who fights through contact for a finesse lay. They give it to Jay Gibb one more time and he hits him with a milkshake shake with a hook on the side. But this game was about creating turnovers and forcing fouls and converting off them turnovers and converting off them fouls as Teon Tiller converts off the turnover. And with this knockdown tray from beyond the yard from Isaac Parsons, this puts the Rams up 12 to 8 early. But the Blue Bears and Kyrie Temple, they're trying to stop that lead as he gets the N1 lay, 12 10 Winston. The Blue Bears get the ball back. Aaron Braddock's fighting to the rim. Tries to get the lay. The Blue Bears get the put back to go. Now we tied at 12. This is what I'm talking about, man. Great basketball right here. Jonathan Hicklin finds his cut in Nathan Springs for a wide open dunk. But boy, after this tween hezzy pull from Fiora Lasseter, I just knew that this was going to be a battle to the end. I mean, literally a back and forth battle, like the whole game. Jonathan Hicklin, you can shoot a three, Fiora. Oh, I'm going to get one right back to you. 23-21, Winston. And as we as a game day nation has stated before, this Winston Livingstone rivalry is not just a regular rivalry. This rivalry is deep. This rivalry has been going on for years. And best believe it's gonna be some trash talk going on, most definitely. And you know it's real whenever the fans are showing this much emotion. Like, come on now. The Rams get a stop on defense. Jonathan Hicklin's trying to go coast to coast, but Jalen Gibson comes up with an unexpected putback dunk. Oh my God. And like I said, man, whenever it's a robbery, a lot of emotions gonna come out. Fiora Lassiter, not down Trey. And he talking to him after it too. And you cannot give Kyrie Tipple no wide open fast break. Watch out. <laughs> the energy was there. I'm getting chill bumps to the screen. Paul Taco, knockdown. Give me three. <laughs> the Blue Bears take a 31-29 lead now. But like I said, the game's all about turnovers. Samaj Till gets another one, throws it up. Xavier Fresnel, hey ya. And the Winston fans that were in attendance, they was turned as well. One word to describe Samaj Till, unfazed. The man was unfazed by the pressure and the energy in the building at all. I can't even commentate this play. I'm gonna just let the crowd do it for you. I can't do it. My God, if anything, that was the craziest first time I've ever seen in my life. 42-37 Blue Bears. Fresh out the half, Kyrie Temple gives us a beautiful no-look pass. Two things that can kill you whenever you have a lead. Turnovers and three-point shots. Samaj Till forced both of them. Knocks down one tray ball. Comes back. They branch for another turnover. They kick it, leave them wide open again. Another tray ball to tie the game at 44. And just like that, your lead is gone. And somehow, some way, my guy Quan Leach finds Paul Taco in the corner with a great baseline pass for a tray ball. Anything you can do, I can do better. I think that's what Isaac Parson was saying in his head as he came back with a tray ball of his own. <laughs> and like I said, turnovers will kill you in a game. Rams plus another turnover, but gets blocked on the layup, but gets the putback from Jay Gibb. And the Rams go up 52 to 49, up by three. But you're saying, why the Clips still playing? Kyrie Temple, I'm right back at you with another tray ball. Let's tie this game back up. Man, 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 this game here. Kyrie Temple hits a three in front of Jonathan Hicklin. Jonathan Hicklin comes back and hit a three in front of Kyrie Temple. This just describes the game for you. Like, you literally cannot make this up. You going under the screen, I'm going to pull up. Give me three. Right back at you. Like, you cannot make this up. Like, you couldn't write a better story to this game. Jay Hickey. Give me Trey, but this time we gonna hit the bank. And he told me after the game he called bank. I don't believe him though. And this set the tone for the rest of the game for the Rams. Nathan Springs, nice little head tap and one. They go up by five. And hey, if Nathan Springs gonna keep playing like this, 
The Rams gonna be something to mess with. Pick and pop, pump fake hot, major jump, pull up, Trey ball, give me three. 65-58, the Rams looking to run away with this game. Not trying to sound like a broken record, but I'm pretty sure a little birdie said that this game relied on turnovers and fouls. That's another turnover for the Rams, who had a seven point lead. They come back down the other way, the Bluebirds force another foul, and they're back at the line. And just like that, the Blue Bears have dropped the lead from seven to two. Very next, and I mean the very next possession. Would you look at this? Charge another foul for the Rams. And just like that, that seven point lead has been erased to now the game being tied up from DeMar McRae for the great layup. Exhibit A on how to blow a lead. Turn the ball over. It's what the Rams did, and the Blue Bears capitalized on all the opportunities that they were given. Another turnover, which led to what? Opportunities the other way. Fiora Lasseter tries a three ball, air balls, but guess what? The Blue Bears are fouled once again. Quan Leach goes to the line, knocks on the free throw, and now they're winning the game. But the Rams said, man, enough of this. We're going to cause some turnovers on our own. Samai so still comes up with a turnover with a smart up and overlay. And with just under two minutes left in the game, Samai so still missed their unfaced with the clock winding down. Step back, pull up, bang, bang. Big clutch shot by Samai Till to put the Rams up by three with just under a minute left in the game. And he letting them know all the way down the court, you cannot guard me. With just about 45 seconds left, your Lasseter is trying to find some on the offense. The Rams come up with another huge turnover, man. That turnover pretty much kills it for the Blue Bears. Jonathan Hicklin gets fouled. Now he's going to the line to shoot the one-on-one -on -one free throw. The Blue Bears are down by three. They need a miracle with 20 seconds left. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, Aaron Braddox from the volleyball line. With, he still had like 12 seconds left on the clock. You know how much confidence you gotta have to shoot that shot to send the game in the OT? There's no better robbery than this, man. Let's get to overtime. The Blue Bears commit an early foul, which gives the Rams a two point lead at the free throw line. But Aaron Braddock said, man, I'm still hot from overtime. And it wasn't a fluke, keep giving me the ball. And then after that, Kyrie Temple comes up with a clutch block, grabs it, looking to take it coast to coast, so he does, goes to the rim, over the top, great layup, and now the Blue Bears are up by three, and it's rocking a new trend, literally. But the Rams are not looking to go out without a fight. The rebound falls into Jay Hickey hands. He avoids the charge, gets the lay, one point lead. But Aaron Braddox goes to the rim, gets fouled once again, splits the free throw, so it's 80 to 78 Livingstone. Next possession, Xavier Fennell gets called for the push off, and now the ball goes back to the Blue Bears. But this play right here is a huge play for the Rams. Kyrie Temple goes to the rim, dumps it off, but Jalen Gibson doesn't commit a foul and gets all ball, which leads to an Isaac Parsons rebound, walks up the court, wide open three ball, knocks it down, one point lead Rams. But the Blue Bears are not going without a fight. Great dump pass to Quan Leach and one layup, and we got a battle. Blue Bears take a two-point lead. But what's happening late in this game that forces the game to be won by the other team? Turnovers. That was a huge turnover that led to a layup, and now it's tied at 83. Tion Tiller tries to go to the rim, tries to draw the foul, but doesn't get it to go. Quan Leach tries to lay up, tries to get it to go, doesn't go, but Jalen Gibson gets the ball, and the Blue Bears want a travel, which did look very interesting. But the refs do not call it. The Blue Bears just said, well, we're not going to play defense, and gives up a wide open dunk to Jalen Gibson. This gives the Rams a two-point lead with 30 seconds left, and this was key play number two. Dequavius Wilkins barely played, but comes up with a huge charge in the last seconds of the game. Gives the Rams the ball back by two, and this leads the Rams to go on to the free throw line to knock down more free throws as they take the win in New Trent with an exclamation point. 88-83 with the win over the Blue Bears. This is the best HBCU basketball rivalry. I appreciate you guys for watching. This is Game Day Nation, and we out.